Well, anyway, the numbers of people coming started to grow and grow and grow, and we literally became the who's who of Rogersville, Tennessee. I mean, the uh, bank president would call to have his carrot juice ready so he didn't have to wait for it when he got to the restaurant. The judges uh, from the courthouse and the attorneys from the courthouse frequented our restaurant. The Chamber of Commerce held their monthly meetings there. I mean, it was the most awesome thing uh, to see what the impact that this little uh, restaurant was having there in Rogersville, Tennessee. And so we outgrew that little restaurant quite quickly, and we moved down the street uh, three doors to a 56-seat restaurant, and then the day we opened, we turned people away. Well, another year, and um, it, it was just so incredible that we had people asking us to come and do radio and television appearances and, and to do seminars across the country. And so we closed the restaurant, not because it wasn't successful, but because it was so successful, we were spending all our time waiting tables when we knew by going out on the road we could reach more people with it. And uh, so it, things started happening. I was on the 700 Club shortly after that with Pat Robertson for a nine-minute interview that generated more response than anything they'd ever had on the 700 Club as over 100,000 people wanted information about the Halia diet. And uh, so we closed the restaurant and we moved to a mountain farm that we owned there in uh, Tennessee and operated out of there for a little while, but it was just uh, too small an area to be able to build enough buildings to accommodate all we needed. So in 1997, we moved our headquarters from Tennessee to the present facility that you're in today, and the growth has been absolutely phenomenal. But let me go back a little bit. In 1993, we started publishing Back to the Garden. That first issue, I believe, had 12 pages, and it was just two colors. And um, it was uh, sent out to, or, or I guess we had 5,000 in that first printing. Current issue, which you all got a copy of today. If you didn't, there's one waiting for you when you leave. Um, currently, it's a bi-monthly, 40-some page, full color, uh, that is being read by over a half million every other month. And it goes out free of charge, have, has ever since we started Hallelujah Acres. In 1994, we had so many people getting on the diet and having these wonderful healing experiences, like you heard this morning, that we had people starting to come to us and saying, hey, I got on this diet, I got well, I want to share it with others, will you teach me how to share it? And so in August of, of 1994, we had our first health ministry training session. We had 25 in that training session. and. Um, since then, we have trained over 6,000 health ministers who are now located in every state in the United States and in 40 foreign countries. We have trained 48 medical doctors, 76 chiropractors, over 700 preachers. But the bulk of the folks who go through our health ministry training are just common folks, retired folks, uh, housewives, uh, blue collar, white collar, that experience the diet and want to share it with others and help others. And so if you're interested in our health ministry training program, we have a packet uh, for you uh, before you leave today. So currently we have 46,500 square feet of building space. We have 56 full-time employees, and it has just been the most marvelous, marvelous thing to see how God has blessed. And by the way, it's all God. And to God be the glory, because this is not something Rhonda and I have done. My friends, we couldn't do it. But God, I believe, has raised Hallelujah Acres up as an end-time min ministries to prepare God's people for his soon return. I don't know what the future holds, but I do believe that there's a great potential that before the Lord Jesus comes and takes us out of this whole world, we're going to have to go through some very difficult times. And I think it behooves us to have strong physical bodies to face whatever lies ahead of us. And so I, I often tell folks, I'm not looking for the undertaker. I'm looking for the upper taker. Amen. And I hope that's what you're looking for today. <laughs>